Honey taste test. There is a chunk right inside there, inside the hive. I'm gonna pull it. Oh yeah, all right. Uh, ready? Good morning, everybody. It is still November and it is a nice chilly morning. Uh, chilly for us San Diegans. I have a chainsaw with me, so that means it's gonna be a fun day. Our first job is in Oceanside. It is already gonna be a bluebird day. Skies are clear and the sun is shining. Got a couple stops along the way as well that are gonna be just quotes, estimates. So I'll show you guys the process behind that. Oh, the wind is offshore, but at least the waves are just small, so. But this is the difficulty of doing a bee rescue right next to the beach, is I can see the waves. All right, here we are at our first stop, and the bees are up here in that hole. And let's check with the thermal camera. They should be kind of right around here somewhere. All right, we've got our thermal camera and yep. They're not giving off a ton of heat, but they're definitely in there. So you can see they're going in right where that electrical goes in. Oh, and the thermal camera just booped out. This is not my favorite deal, but occasionally it works, so. I see honeycomb right there. Can you see it in there? So that is beehive right there. Okay, this one's gonna be fun because I have to work around all this electrical conduit. This is an old, old house. It's made of lath and plaster on the other side. This outdoor siding though, this should be pretty easy to cut open and then put back. So we gotta make our cuts like, kind of like that. So we'll see how successful I can be. I can see the line of nails, so I'm just gonna follow that. Oh, I guess we're opening it. Oh yeah, it's a good size hive right there. A few bees right here. What are you doing? Quick, look at that hive! You're gonna hide inside our house! Don't, don't come out here. Oh, okay. <laughs> what do you guys think? You, that's amazing. <laughs> They are a little bit sleepy right now because it's a little chilly this morning, but starting to warm up. They are, but they're slow to wake up. Normally we find them on the kind of south side of the house or the east side. These guys are kind of on the west side, southwest side. So they don't get woken up as early in the morning, but uh, you can see good size hive. I might have to make another cut up there, but let's keep going. <laughs> Get the upper chamber open. Is that what you call it? The upper chamber? Uh, that's a little in the way. We'll fix that in a minute. But yep, okay. Yeah, bees in there. And that looks like the edge of the hive and honeycomb. So that's perfect. So they're just in this little area here instead of going all the way over to where the stud is. Perfect. Am I crazy for doing yet another suitless removal with a pretty old hive? Eh, 
we'll see what happens. I have to be careful with where I put my hands when it's a little cold outside and the bees are a little sleepy. They really don't like to be breathed on or messed with or touched. So I really just really want to get them out of the way, but at the same time, I can't really do a lot of nudging of the bees with my fingers like I usually do. So I just got to be careful. They really don't want to move out of the way when they're, when they're cold like this. They get a little sting happy when they're cold. I got one attacking me. Hold on. It might be time for the suit just to get going a little faster. Okay. You can see I wussed out and put on these gloves just so I can nudge some bees out of the way. I had one come after me, but it's probably just a one-off. See, they just they just don't want to move. They're really tired. They could even be a little sickly if they got into some bad honey somewhere. If they were robbing a beehive that's been exterminated, they get kind of sickly like this because it's pretty warm now. I'm in short sleeves and everything, so it's not cold outside. Okay, ladies, move out of the way so I can feel them behind where we can't see. And they're just really slow to move out of the comb. They're in there digging, digging for honey. Let's go ahead and get this little chunk out of the way. Go back. Okay, this one's ready to come out. Just gotta be careful on the way out that we're not squishing anybody. Alright, check that out. Let's look at the back side. Maybe the queen's back here. Mm, nope. Queen is not on this side. So she's still in the hive. They're running around. So let's hurry and find the queen. So they stop running around in the box. Once we get the queen, they'll actually settle down. Gotta be careful, there's wires up here. I don't feel like making any shocking connections today. And luckily, I made nice shallow cuts, so I didn't hit any of the electrical cables. This one is thick with bees. Let's give them some smoke, see if we can get a handhold somewhere. Let's see if I can get this thing kind of taken in half. I made a little cut right there just to get it going. Oh, no, it wants to come all out at once. Oh gosh, oh shoot, that's not what I want. <laughs> this is, no bueno, not ideal right now. This is a tough situation. Stuff is about to become really difficult. Okay, sorry bees, the ones down low are gonna get a little pushed out of the way. Don't be surprised if I get stung right now because I'm being a little hard on them. I'm gonna be as gentle as I can. That was supposed to come off in half. But it's all coming off in one piece. Steady as she goes. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some weight off the comb by getting the bees off of it. That just lost a pound just by shaking the bees off. Okay, thank goodness. Now they're waking up. Look at them. Look at them all running around. So they're doing the swirl pattern. So I don't think the queen is in the box. I was hoping she landed in there with that last shake, but she must still be in the wall. I'm going to take a look around. Okay, I don't see her. A scoop of bees in the morning make you feel right as rain. Looking around for the queen, still won't see her. She could be in the box. But there's also, there's also this section that's still 
I mean, no, I'm not gonna cut it out, obviously. <laughs> so she could be hiding behind there, but I'm looking around. They're definitely waking up. They're not asleep anymore. So let's check inside the wall, see if she's in here. A lot of clumps, so we're gonna have to pull them out of the way to actually spot the queen. But it's worth a look. We might get lucky. Okay, they have stopped swirling around, so maybe the queen is in here. So it could be either way right now. It's a little too early to tell. So we'll keep searching around for the queen inside the wall. I am going to set the box up there and drive the bees in. But before I do, let's go ahead and take a look, see if the queen is in here before we close up the box. Okay, I got them spread out. Now let's keep an eye out for the queen. Hopefully we catch her running up one of these walls. She might not be in the box. She's probably still in the wall. Let's see if we can shine some light on the subject. Shed some light on the subject. They're definitely awake now. They're not so sleepy. Okay, I don't think she's in here. So I am going to now close up the box and we'll cut our little doorway. We'll get them walking out of the wall into the box and hopefully that's when we spot the queen. Okay, so we'll cut a little side door. And then we'll take them up here. Oh, interesting. The ones inside the wall are acting a little crazy. <laughs> Maybe the queen is in the box. <laughs> Whoops. We'll see you in a minute here. Okay. Okay. Let's cross our fingers that holds. You can see they're swirling inside the wall here. And that usually means the queen's not with them. So I'll have to take a better look in the box because that's probably where she is, unless she snuck off somewhere. Hopefully she didn't sneak off into that wall, or you know, that side of the wall, this side of the wall, up into the eave. It's all possible, especially on these older homes, but this one actually is, that's really tight up against the wall. The lath and plaster is really tight up against the wall. That fire block looks tight. So I don't think she really has anywhere to run. But I'm glad the bees are finally awake and on the move. Makes life easier. I don't need these gloves on anymore. All the comb is out so I don't have to put my fingertips at risk. Because let me tell you, getting stung on the fingertips, there's so many tight nerve bundles. It hurts so bad to get stung on the fingertips. It's one of the worst places to get stung. I don't even have my queen cage in my pocket. So as soon as I spot the queen, I'm gonna have to grab her and then run down the ladder to grab the queen cage. But I'm starting to think she's in the box. Look at them flood in now. Woohoo! Go, 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 go. There's some bees up there. No, you gotta backtrack. Come on, backtrack. Backtrack. There's quite the dangle going on in here. Dangle, 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 dangle. <laughs> okay, before I pull the box down, I had to notice, oh, the wind is still offshore. Oh, I wish I was surfing. And you guys probably didn't know this, but I am a surfer. Uh, cut to a clip. I was actually using this thing in that video clip. A buddy and I invented this mouth melt. 
for surfing and all sorts of stuff and it actually I realized doubles as a good little mount for on my shirt so when I'm here on the job and I notice the wind is offshore I'm thinking ooh, the waves could be good but the waves are small today so uh, I am not complaining though because these bees have been a pleasure to work with super friendly only a couple of them came after me <laughs> unsuccessfully so anyway we got to find the queen where is she she has to be in the box obviously at this point all right time to take the box down oh oh there's quite a bit of bees in there the box is suddenly a bit heavy okay we'll just set it on the baby stroller here because uh that's where my babies are these are my babies and I only put one strip of tape on the top of the box because I figured I'd have to open it to check for the queen. So let's check and see if she's in here. A lot of the time she's up here on the flaps. So we'll have a look around. Careful bees. Why am I telling them to be careful? I need to be careful. Oh yeah, lots of bees here. Where are you queenie? Go ahead and tap. Get them off the flap. Oh, guys, I I don't know if I've talked about this either. When you're dealing with bees, don't breathe on them. They, that's like a really easy way to set them off. They know that mammal breath, CO2, warm mammal breath equals predator. So I always try to kind of like keep my breath right here and not talk super loud. So if I'm a little quiet, that's why is because I'm not wearing a suit and I don't want to breathe on them. Helpful tip. Let's keep looking though. Come on, queen, we're gonna find you. I'm gonna bring the box on the ground. It'll make it a little easier to try and find her. I just saw her. I just saw her. She was in this corner. And that's usually the case is over in a corner somewhere. Let's see. I don't see her right now, but she's hiding somewhere. Okay, let me get you guys in here. Let's look together. Oh, there she is. Let me clear up, clear the way. Pregnant. Did you guys see her? I got bumped in the face, so I kind of got distracted. She could be pretty wily, so as soon as I spot her, I'm just going to grab her and put her in the cage. I got another warning shot from a, a bee. Oh, she must have snuck over to the, the other side. Let's keep going. I see her, but I gotta, I gotta do a sneak attack. Okay, I got her. A lot of bees inside the cage with her, but it's not too crowded in there. Okay, got her. Sorry guys, she's just too wily. I didn't want to risk losing her again because I've got a long day ahead of me. All right, and she goes in the box. Now we'll close it up and get it back up there because there's a group of bees starting to accumulate and we'll collect them and then we'll be done with this one. Now that cluster of bees is on the run. They smell the queen inside the box and they are making their move. All right, so I'll go ahead and wrap this one up here. Uh, all I have to do is do a little cleanup in here, put the wall back together, and that's it. That's kind of the boring part. This is the cool part, the bee march. So enjoy this. But let's go ahead and skip to the next one.
Okay, this next one is in Encinitas. I'm gonna go check it out and do the whole estimate thing. I don't expect that I can actually take care of it today. So let's figure out how old the beehive is and how we're gonna go about getting them out. It is fairly recent, but we'll see. And here we are back by the beach, this time in Encinitas. You guys might recognize this area. Okay, this is the destination, Cali Cream. Apparently the bees are right next to the front door. Oh, uh, I think I know what's going on. Yep, you see these bees here? Ice cream means sugar and syrup. And I actually got a call earlier today about the same exact kind of situation, but it was a coffee shop. I told them it's simple. You just have to keep the area clean and free of sugar and syrup and everything, and then you won't have this problem. So that's all that's going on here. The trash can obviously is not an enclosed trash can. And so the bees smell some syrup and sugar in there and some ice cream. That's all that's going on. Okay, I just gave the spiel to everybody in the ice cream shop. So basically all I told them was they can get some enclosed trash cans. They can use some, they can use some tea tree oil to put in the trash cans to try and help drive the bees away, but that's about it. There's not a lot you can do if the bees are coming for some free sugar. Okay, next up, La Jolla with the chainsaw. Okay, you guys weren't with me when I first came to check this out. This is a pretty common situation where they get into a tree hollow. I really hope these guys aren't working over here. There's some people working on the house. They were here the other day and I've got a beehive and a tree trunk. Like I said, really common spot. So I've got the chainsaw and I can see right there. This is really hollow right there. And I could actually see through that whole part of the beehive. So I'm hoping all I have to do is just kind of cut this area right there and that'll give me plenty of access. Fingers crossed but they might even take out this tree apparently. But of course the guy that's taking out the tree can't do so without getting the bees out first. So that is where I come in. Okay, let's go grab my chainsaw, fire it up, make sure it's sharp. It should be sharp. Got to sharpen that thing all the time. By the way, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my bee suit on because I'm using a chainsaw. And then if they turn out to be mellow and I've got it opened up, then I'll take my bee suit off because it's gotten warm. It started off as 51 degrees this morning and now it's like 75. So it's warm enough that I don't wanna wear my bee suit. See if I can show you guys. Aha! Uh -huh. We see you bees. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go ahead and crack this thing open. This brand is called Echo. 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 Give the primer a couple squeezes. Pull the choke out. Flip up the on switch. And give her a rip. Push the choke back in. Okay, now the idea is only cut open what you have to, what you absolutely have to. Try not to cut open too much. So the way I do that is I look for the thin spots, like right here is all thin. So that'll be really easy to cut. And also where their entrance is, usually that's thin. So I'll start around here gonna cut that region out and we'll go from there. Get these rocks out of the way. They're gonna chew up my chain. All right, now 
try to be as careful as I can so I don't hurt anybody. Oh, it's ready to crack open. Let's see what we've got. Oh, yeah. Bees. That's what I was looking for. Hey, look, there's even some honey right here. All right. Let's go ahead. It's a little too dusty to shake into the box. So what I'll do is shake it down there. The bees will just climb right back to the hive. This one is a little dusty, but it's good enough. Shake that into the box. And the bees are pretty chill, so I might take my suit off here, but we are in the shade, so right now, time is of the essence, so I'm not gonna worry about my bee suit being on. I wanna hurry and find the queen. Get a light on them. Now there's no telling right now exactly how far back or how far up this goes. So let's start pulling combs. This one has a good chunk of honey in it. Are we lucky? And and is the queen right here? Nope, of course not. What am I talking about? You, 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 you. Gotta move fast. I feel like I should go ahead and put the light on it. Make it a little easier to see for you guys. All right. Oh yeah. This tree's got some hollow sections to it. This isn't quite finished with the cut, but look how just rotted out this is. Yeah, this tree's probably on its last legs. I'm no arborist, but... I see some bees and some comb right there. Let's see how much higher it goes. This might be the end, kind of right where I opened it up. So the queen bee's tendency is to run like mostly up and higher or deeper back, basically just into a darker space. Oh my gosh, guys, there's something in my work boot that's just absolutely stabbing my heel. It's not a bee. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, that thing. Yeah. Like a little sticker deal. Okay. Well, this looks like it's a piece of the tree coming off with a piece of the comb. Yep. Wait a second, I want to check down here. Make sure the queen's not running around. A few bees fell right when I grabbed this. Okay, I don't see her there. Is she here? That would be awesome. Oh my gosh, I'd be stoked. Is she here? Is she there? No, okay. Continuing on. I will say this is a good sign that all the bees are right here. They're all stacked up here. If they were suddenly just disappearing and there were very few bees in here, I would be worried. I'd, I would know that there's a place where they were escaping way back in there, but it looks like they're all stacked up right here. So the queen should be within my reach. I shouldn't have to make any more cuts than this. So it's just a matter of getting the combs out of the way and scooping up some bees and, and then we'll find the queen. Let's uh, see, there's a little chunk. No queen though. Okay, let's go ahead and get a handful of bees. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at this. Look at this handful. Whoa, beavalanche. Into the box. Let's go ahead and take a look. Maybe we got lucky. Uh, no, I wanna say the queen was not in that handful, but there's still lots of bees in here. Let's grab another handful, come over to this side. Uh, check for the queen, nope. Carefully run across the roof in here. Let's see, is she here? She's not in this handful, I don't think, nope. Okay, all right, let's get you guys a little closer so you can see. Let me know if you spot her. Always, always keep your eyes peeled because I have a look back in some of the footage that I've gotten over the years and there's been a few times where <laughs> there she was plain as day on camera and I just wasn't looking in the right spot. So keep your eyes peeled.
we're getting down to the last sheets of comb and I'm trying to twist this around it's kind of hard I don't see the queen on this so let's go ahead and set it aside there's at least one more sheet of densely packed honey back there it's not very big but let's go ahead and see maybe I exposed the queen's hiding spot just then uh, I don't see her let's go ahead and grab another scoop my guess is she's over in that right corner there's that last chunk of honey pretty positive that's the last bit so all right now we definitely got to find the queen there may be a pattern starting to form I noticed the bees are going from this way, this way, and kind of almost up into a gap right over here. So I think there could be a nice little nook that the queen has buried herself under. Ooh, a bunch of bees right here. Look at this scoop. Oh, the cascade. I'm gonna find you, queenie. It's just a matter of time. Okay, let's shift from actively searching to actively driving them into the box. The bees look pretty happy in the box. I just checked, didn't really see the queen. I didn't look thoroughly, but my guess is that she's still down in here, but we're going to try and trick her into coming out and then going into the box. Let's go ahead and get some smoke going and that'll help us drive them down out of that cavity and into the box. Okay, I've got my bee suit off, now kind of shifting gears. Since it's a little too hard to find the queen in there, there's some tight little spaces I don't think I can get to her. So, we're gonna go ahead and drive her in. And I did get stung uh, just about a minute ago in my butt crack. So there's that, that's a first. Always something interesting, ooh, ooh, it's, it's hitting again, ooh. <laughs> There's been a queen sighting, but, oh, there she is. Yes, yes. Do you see her? Big mama, woohoo. Look, she's not going into the box. Actually, I'm happy about that. It gives us a chance to get a good look at her. If she was running into the box, I'd have to drop the camera. Don't hide, big mama. We all want to see you. We can see your abdomen. Come on. Come on. We know you're in there. Okay, let me go ahead and grab her. Where does she go? Here, cleany, cleany, cleany. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yes, got her. So that was tricky because just then, right before I turned on the camera, she was already climbing into the box. So I had almost no chance to grab her. She actually crawled onto my hand and that's where you guys checked in. All right, big mama, got her. So we'll just put her in the key, uh, sorry, in the box. And the bees are already going in, so that's perfect. Woohoo! for a honey taste test. There is a chunk right inside there, inside the hive. I'm gonna pull it. Oh yeah, all right. Okay, let's see. Ready? No, I'm just kidding. Mm. Whoa. 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 Sugar. Hmm. Mm, that was tasty though. Now I've got bees all around my lips. They want some free honey. Okay, back to it.
Okay guys, there were so many bees inside this little cavity. Can't believe it. But now I've got robber bees from the neighborhood that are trying to, look at this, they're all over my scraper. Those are just robber hood, or <laughs> Robin, Robin Hood bees. Robber bees from the neighborhood. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the colony out of here. Let's go ahead and button these guys up. And then I've got to look at my route to see what's up next, and then I'll get back to you guys. All right, so the next one is in Carmel Valley. It's gonna be an estimate. I won't have time to do it because it sounds like it's in the roof and it sounds like it's been there for a few weeks. So let's go and check it out. Hello, officer. I'm not filming myself. Update. So the next appointment we had, I called and they said today doesn't work. Nobody's on the construction side. It's a home remodel. So some other day. This is pretty much it. That's November for you. It's not usually crazy busy, but we did end up ending just before 2 p.m. Beautiful day. Loved it. Hope you guys enjoyed. That's it for now. Remember to be kind, save the bees, and I'll catch you on the next one.